Definitely it's not. Do you still think and believe that people would be there for you at their hard time, that difficult moment and situation to just help you out, to support you, uh, to make you feel relief or just to encourage you coming out of their hard and tough time, that difficult situation, that moment of sorrow? Will they be there for you? Do you really think like so? The answer is no. And for me, it's big no. I think it's not about me alone or any specific person, but it applies on all. They will not be there at their hard and tough time. So if we, despite knowing these all facts and realities, if we still pursue them and follow their advices and suggestions, I would rather call ourselves we are the dumbest of all creatures. And in any case, you're not going to live your life as per the wishes and wills of mine or somebody else and I am nobody to suggest you to give you the advice that how you are going to lead and how you are going to drive the matters of your life how you are going to be happy how you how to take care and how to sort out uh, how to get along with or without so if we still do there what people suggest us what people advise us what people ask us to do that means we are going to kill our wishes and wills within ourselves for no reason we are going to suppress them all inside for the sake of their all nonsense which is going around which has got nothing to do with the lifestyle of us which has got nothing to do with our wishes and wills and the matters of our life another way if we do there i would rather call i would rather go on to say that we are just going to do injustice with our own individuality because the best of all people the best of all individuals who can make you happy is none other than yourself. And they are very true to say that happiness all comes from within. I really agree with the statement that we all have got people around in the form of friends, some of them are contacts, family members, adherents, whatever, who would give us advice, suggestions, that how we are going to live our life happily but it's all about we that how we are going to take them and their words in a way yeah okay take the words but live your life because they are not the people if on the other side if you just look at their lives they would be living their life in completely in a different way what they are telling you so do all those things what make you happy but keep one thing in mind that we are not going to cross those all limitations those all family terms those, those all cultural values which we are born and raised with within those all circles whatever the thing which makes you happy do that don't get bothered about other people that what they would be thinking about you how they are going to take this thing and that thing which is done by you not for a single moment get bothered about those old thoughts of people otherwise you will be completely doing injustice with yourself and you will not be able to explore your talent you will not be able to explore yourself in front of the people though you would have much more to say you would have much more to express and explore to make a happy living so like every other person i also have got a number of people around and number of good friends in my circle and a uh, few of them are really really good to me and i do follow them and their words most of the time and that really benefits me as well but some of the times i just ignore them and just pass on on their words like i didn't hear them so few of them are really uh, concerned about me and the matters of my life i don't know for what reason <laughs> uh, definitely for no reason what can be the reason behind that nothing but they are there with their words and suggestions telling me and advising me every now and then uh, about the tips of happy life how to get away and start again after losing the beloved ones because i'm a sort of person who has lost i would say and the biggest loss of my life is my father 
I lost him in a road traffic accident which has been till date the biggest loss of my life and uh, would definitely be a biggest loss throughout my life and other than that uh, I'm a sort of person I can say uh, I have got deceived so many a times by my friends by my beloved ones by my whatever you can say people in my contact so that can be because I, I'm a bit easy to believe people or a bit simple to get deceived I, I won't say people just have cheated on me uh, I'm not that much simple even but a bit simple to get deceived by the people so they would just tell me there there is something like whatever has happened to you has happened for the good I believe that whatever happens happens for the better for the good and they would tell me that if you have lost indeed there would be something extraordinarily good for you there would be a person to come in your life who would, who would be more than idealistic supernatural or a person who you can just think of to be that much good to you in your life and that person has to come in your life I, what I tell them you know I tell them that see since I have prepared since I have made my mind for the worst so it doesn't really matter whether it's gonna be good to me in my life whether a person who is extraordinarily going to be good for me in my life or going to be extraordinarily worse for me in any case I have prepared for the worst there are two benefits of that being Muslim I believe and it comes from the uh, hadith and it's a uh, hadith uh, mentioned in Muslim and Bukhari that uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said that a person should always seek for ease should always pray to God for the ease and good to come in his life you should always pray to God that may God make my life easy and may good things come to me in my life but Apart from that, what I believe is one should prepare his mind for the worst to come. That, that would be because if it turns to be that worst, what you had expected, what you had prepared for, you would be managing with it without having a second complaint, without having a second theory. But even if it's gonna be a little lesser than that was what you had made your mind for you would be really happy with that you would really be easy adjusting with that may it be so it turns out to be something really good with which you had really not expected for because you had since you you had made your mind for the worst so it turns to be completely good so the joy is the happiness the pleasing moment would be like anything if you have already made for the best one for the easiest one expected that it is going to be the best one in your life and later on even if it's gonna be like a little not good than what you expected for or it's gonna be a little bad or worse compared to what you had prepared your mind for then you would totally be disappointed you would totally be unpleased and you would totally be unhappy of that thing so my logic even in my professional life i do practice this and i whenever it's about critical and complex situation or even we do have sort of procedures which are really painful so explaining those old procedures to our customers or patients or whatever you say I would tell them that it's the worst gonna be happen to you <laughs> they get afraid of it they get scared of it but ultimately they prepare their mind for the worst and I know it's not gonna be that bad and there was for them so what they tell me is you had made you had made our mind for that worst situation even it feels nothing for us though 
they do feel it. If I would have told them that it's nothing, you are going to just enjoy it. It's really something which is going to make you happy. And later on, if it was not going to be like so, they would have just scolded me or they would have just taunted me or might be abused me. <laughs> Get annoyed, right? Definitely. If something is really not going to as per your expectations, you get annoyed. So my logic of life is prepare for the worst and accept whatever comes in your way, whatever comes in your life. Adjust with that, adopt, adjust and accept. So you would be happy of the situation, you would be happy of the life and pray get gratitude to God. The best way to be happy in your life is be connected to God there's one reason definitely coming from Quran that the best way you may seek peace of heart and mind is all coming from getting connected to God, to your Lord. And the other way is whatever is being given to you, whatever you are blessed with, just think for a while that there would be billion people around the globe who would not be having the things which you have, which you are blessed with. And pay gratitude to God that God has given you that much, which might be a sort of wish for billion of people around the world. If not billion, at least million of people would be wishing for their all what you do hold, what you do have, what you are blessed with. Stay blessed, stay tuned and We'll be seeing you in the next episode with some other things, some other matters of life, inshallah. God bless you all. Happy weekend.